Milton, a hymn writer, once said, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. In view of this, I'm preaching on the message I have entitled, Saved by Grace. Our text is, our text is taken from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 10. Reading the 8th verse. We have, which we don't. The scripture commands us to show contentment by appreciating our parents' provisions for us. Meaning, it's... <laughs> Hello family, this is Pastor Gideon. Welcome to Kingdom Matters where we answer difficult questions people have regarding the faith as well as add our biblical perspective to issues making run that affect our kingdom. One of the things that shouldn't have ended up in a competition is preaching. But in Ghana, everything ends up being a reality show and preaching has not been an exception. Today, it is no more being shown on TV, but some few years back, there was a reality show for children that sought to find out who was the best preacher among children or child preacher. Yes, there was a whole reality show on TV that featured children delivering messages to be ranked based on delivery, eloquence, and articulation. And based on that, they were given awards and scholarship and many things to encourage them in that endeavor. Many years after, not much have been heard about a number of them. We hope they turn out to be great ministers of the gospel and to represent Christ in whatever field they find themselves later in life. But one has been trending this week with bad news of dancing seductively to music on TikTok. It is our prayer that she finds her way back to serious fellowship with the Lord. But how can this be avoided? Number one. I have said this and I'm going to say it again. In children and young ministers of the Lord, the focus of training should not first be about excellent delivery in ministry. That is a wrong foundation. Being the best preacher is not a guarantee that you are saved. So the first aim of a Christian minister of God, young minister of God or a child should not be how to be homiletically great. There are about two to three layers that must come way before being a good preacher or teacher. Now, the first layer in building a life or ministry in Christ is first knowing the Lord. How could anything come before knowing the Lord? It is the first thing. It's about knowing the Lord. Today, many young ministers are taught to rehearse preaching and to be great in their delivery of the word of God. But many of them don't know the Lord. They don't know the Lord they sought to preach. This makes preaching to be a nice occupation like any other secular work instead of a ministry from the Lord because whom are you going to preach? The one you are supposed to preach, you have no idea of. Now, this approach will only train the head and the mouth to speak for the Lord and not the heart to know the Lord. And that is very, very dangerous. Because a minister who has not known the Lord is capable of any evil in the name of the Lord. With time, if God does not help, you can become anything at all because you got into the ministry the wrong way. Knowing how to preach, being very eloquent and articulative is a wrong way to enter into ministry. I know a number of people that got into ministry because they could speak well. That is wrong. Knowing how to speak very well, being a good public speaker, does not guarantee that you will be a great minister of God. The first point into ministry is knowing the Lord. So if you don't know the Lord, but you are a great talker, don't let anybody force you into being a preacher. Go and acquaint yourself with the Lord. Now, the second layer that must come, which you must have before being a good preacher or an eloquent speaker, is discipleship oh yes the training to become like the lord himself this is more fundamental and important than knowing how to preach today many preaching in the pulpit have not been raised with the word of the lord and don't have time to grow either 
their aim and goal has not been the Lord. They are not students of the Lord. Their aim and goal is the pulpit, is to preach. They've not built the character of Christ, but are preaching Christ. So you see, in many ministers, they preach Christ to others and leave the opposite because they've not known him, they've not grown into him. They've jumped the gun of discipleship, yet the first call of Christ is to discipleship. Who is a disciple? A disciple is a student under discipline. So before you become an eloquent preacher, you first must have been a student of the Lord Jesus Christ, understanding the Lord, learning everything he taught, learning the doctrine of Christ and how he wants his children to conduct themselves way before getting into the art of preaching. In talking about the model minister, Apostle Paul likens him to three things. The model minister must be like a soldier, an athlete, and a farmer. And the common denominator for all these three is discipline. A soldier must be disciplined, an athlete must be disciplined, and a farmer ought to be disciplined. If not, they are not going to get the outcome they want. To be a soldier will require you to be retrained and to be delivered from all your civilian traits. The same for an athlete. One must learn to keep their bodies in shape if not they are not going to win anything yes and the same for a farmer a farmer will plant will go through all the sacrifices and must still wait he cannot harvest before a certain period yes that is discipline until you have this discipline you can't be a great minister of the lord jesus christ until one has been properly discipled knowing how to preach very well is just building castles in the sky people will hail you but the question is does the lord know you it is just a matter of time and they will miss God completely. That's why we are not supposed to ordain novices because it may do them more harm than good in the future. First Timothy 3.6 says, Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. So let's do things properly and in order. Do you see yourself as a young minister? Do you see yourself as one that has been called? Don't focus on being very eloquent and articulative. Don't look for the schemes and the methods to use for people to clap for you as you preach. First, know the Lord. Be sure that you know the Lord and you are saved. Secondly, become a student of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to make time to study His will, His messages. Master the New Testament. Understand the doctrine of Christ. Then and then can you learn how to preach. And even when you start preaching, don't be in the best preacher competition because it won't help you. Anybody who does anything for competition will have no reward. It is going to be dead works. Hallelujah. I believe you are blessed. This was just a short one to let us know how to approach the work of God, the things of God, and how to conduct ourselves in the assignment that the Lord has called us. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Shalom.